Thank you, Andrew. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. At Dolovalo, we uh, know that the most important parameter in running a profitable farm, in fact, are the dairy cows themselves. So, taking care of these cows is really taking care of profitability of the farm. Uh, you know that <coughs> mastitis and fertility are very important cost parameters on a dairy farm, but so is lameness. It's important, the third most important cost factor that a dairy farmer needs to take into account. In fact, cows that show moderate to severe lameness uh, drop out of milk and they will lose about one to two kilos of milk per day uh, when they are lame. And also these same cows that are lame uh, don't reproduce that well. Uh, they show up to 40 days, more open days, and for any open day that a cow shows a reproduction that is above 90 to 95 days, we know that the cost of that is about one to three euros per cow per day. So it is very important to prevent lameness. And we are happy to show you today here on the booth a two-step concept uh, with two automated food bath 1000s, AB 1000s. On the one hand, using the first food bath, the Hoof Cleaner 40, HC40, uh, which will remove the soil from the hooves and the claws of the animals. And secondly, use a second hoof bath with the four hooves solution, which is an innovative solution which is biodegradable, which doesn't interfere with uh, biogas fermentation on the farm, uh, which doesn't use any copper sulfate or formaldehyde uh, for that sake. So it's a very safe uh, solution to use both for the farmers themselves, the operators and the animals. And it's very important of course also to consider that the environment that we keep these cows in is very important also in running a profitable farm. We will present this booth integrated elimination systems, ventilation systems to make sure that cows don't suffer from heat stress. But we're also happy to introduce today at the booth the next generation of our Swinging Cow Brush product, which was uh, like the best in test in the latest uh, November issue of the DLZ Agrar magazine here in Germany. Uh, this new generation of Swinging Cow Brush has new features. It uh, has reduced energy consumption by about 26% versus the previous version and also has double angle pivots which uh, allows for better grooming and uh, that is a patented technology by Dolivar. And last but not least, if you buy the best equipment that is around for your dairy farm, Dolivar also develops the in-service service concepts for milking equipment, whether it be traditional milking, automated milking, VMS or AMR. Also for our feeding and, and cooling equipment, we have adapted service concepts that we deliver to our customers. And by having preventive maintenance, the dairy farmer spends one euro for every five euros of subsequent expenses that he can avoid by having preventive maintenance. So it's also about keeping the quality, the robustness, the reliability and the performance of that equipment on the dairy farm and keeping it running in a profitable way. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Thank you all for your uh, kind attention during the presentation. It's now time for a Q&A session. I understand that, um, it's, that you would certainly like to have more interviews, so we will keep that Q&A session very short, and I would invite all the speakers to get on stage again uh, using the uh, lower part and the upper part of, uh, of the uh, stage. You know, for you, our journalists, that there's, all the presentations are on the memory sticks. For the competition, I would invite you to read the magazines and to watch the TV. That's much better for you. Um, and if we have a few questions, we have translation in Russian, we have translation in German, we have translation in French. Um, as, you, uh, as you may be so, this is quite an international group. Uh, so don't be shy with your questions um, and don't be shy afterwards also for the interviews. So please, we have microphones, we have translation if you have any questions right now. And the first one is always the uh, toughest one. So we need somebody brave. We have one, two. Good morning, Stephen Vale from Farmers Guardian. If I understood it correctly, I think there are 13 AMR systems working in Australia. Can I please, somebody please give me an idea how many are out globally at the moment? 
or is it the ventral? I've got no idea how many hertz there are at larger than 300 globally. Does anybody, can anybody give me some idea? Mr. Turner is here. Yeah, all I've got this anyway, sorry. First of all, a quick correction. There are not 13 AMRs working in Australia at the moment. We have uh, two AMRs working in Sweden. We have an AMR test platform working in Australia. The plan now is that we will have two pilot, uh, two pilot installations installed down under in Australia uh, in the coming year. A further installation in Sweden. And then we begin from 2012, the full rollout of the platform. In terms of the potential, the AMR is directed at the large farm. So it's directed at 300 cows and up. And as you know, that is the way the industry is going in terms of consolidation. Doesn't mean to say that there is a lot of opportunity still with the smaller family farms, particularly in Europe, but there is a huge opportunity with the larger farms. We had a, another question here. Yes, my name is Wilfried Messerling from the Netherlands. My question is, when will the AMR become available for sale and when he will become available for sale for practical farmers? Will it then also have a system to separate uh, the milk that's not good to um, deliver? Mr. Turner again. If I can repeat the question as I understand it, tell me if I'm wrong. Number one, when is it commercially available? Number two, uh, when is milk available? Is that the question? When it is available for sale. Yeah, it is available. When it, when it comes available for sale, commercially yeah. available. Will it then also have a system to separate milk? Right. The AMR is commercially available as of 2012. That's when it's commercially available. We'll be running test installations throughout the next year. Um, in terms of milk divert, we currently have uh, automatic identification of cows with colostrum or whatever it is, which diverts the cows out for a separate milking. We are working on a new generation of automatic milk divert at the moment, but it is not currently available. Will you wait with selling the EMR to farmers until you have a system to keep uh, mastitis milk separate, for example? We have, we have a system today which keeps mastitis milk separate in as much as the cows are identified when they enter the platform and as identified cows with uh, milk problems, mastitis problems, they are diverted for separate milking. Is the, is, the system, is the system checking if the milk has good quality or has the farmer to put in uh, the number of the cow which has not good quality of milk? We have uh, the system uh, absolutely does quarter milking, it does quarter milk metering, so it actually identifies the uh, quality of the milk as it's, as it's taking place in the existing milk meters. Those parameters are set by the farmer, so there is an automated element of it, but there is also an uh, individual farmer element to identify those cows if it's not just on the quality basis that he wants to have them. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? I have a question. Um, I come from Ukraine. Speak out loud. Yeah. I'm Olga Sidorenko, magazine agro expert Ukraine. First question How do you think when will be available such robotized uh, predators uh, in Ukraine and Russia? Because we have really big farms. And the second one is a social question, maybe to Australian colleague, uh, because um, you said that uh, you can operate big farm with a few people. But uh, what to do with unemployed? people who live in village. Thank you. On that issue, I would ask uh, our CEO, Mr. Joachim Rosengren, to comment. As, as we've all said before, the, the system will be commercially available uh, for all countries as from 2012. When it comes to the social situation, I think you're opening a very interesting question. However, what we find with most of our um, customers all over the globe, there's one common trend, and that is it's very, very difficult, and increasingly so, to get hold of labor hands on the farm that's uh, competent and that's interested in working. So it's not about an unemployment. You, I, I, I don't think it's the right route to take that we should solve the unemployment issue uh, by employing more people on the farm, uh, rather the contrary. Well, my name is Michael Nishin, I'm from the News Information Agency. Uh, I would like to ask you about the price of the system. The price of the system is going to be affordable. 
Next question. Stephen Bell once again. I'd still like to uh, ask my first question. Um, I'm interested to know how many dairy farms there are globally with more than 300 milking animals, and how many of those do you think will have a robot, the AMR, by, let's say, 2020? Can I venture to answer that question? First, uh, to be a little bit bold, because I don't think we have the statistics available, the, 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 the answer on the first question is enough. Uh, and second, how many of those, when the VMS was launched, uh, it was met with uh, a little bit of skepticism. Uh, in those markets, however, where we've had it now for more than 10 years, I think it's safe to say that there are rarely any farm in Northern Europe, uh, or at least two thirds of all the farms that are investing, are investing in robot systems. So I think when the technology comes, it will take a few years before it's, uh, before it's accepted. But definitely, uh, we expect a, a, a big pickup and a large uh, volume eventually. But I also may allude to, we are in here for the long-term perspective, so it won't happen tomorrow. Next question. A few more questions. So we are going to break for more individual interviews, if you like. So a few more questions, maybe. Last one. Here we have a last one, maybe. Because of the Ukrainian farmer, what is the recommended number of cows to use the MR as a farmer? There is no recommended number of cows. Of course, it is aimed at the larger herd. Um, it's basically dependent upon the individual customer and what they want to do with it. In terms of capacity, capacity can move from 300 cows to 800 cows. Based on the modular system, if you look, you have individual robots for cleaning, attachment and spraying, you can invest in as few as one or as many as two and that's how you increase your capacity on the platform. The good thing I would say about it is the investment is in the platform and the modules themselves. With the, with the platform itself it can often fit into an existing barn or whatever else. So you can either start with your existing barns or you can actually make a complete new investment. So there's a lot of flexibility built into the actual offer that we're putting together. My name is Christian Sandvik from Sweden. And I have a technical question about capacity. Uh, when we talk about AMS, we are talking about we started with 45 and now it's 70 cows per day or herd size. And, and if you look at the carbon, how many cows do you think? How do we handle key figures about capacity, number of buildings per day or such things? We have, uh, we're currently, and, and by the way, these numbers will change as the, as the product develops, but currently we can commit to a 90, 90 cows uh, capacity per hour. That means that you can milk 90 cows uh, twice a day if you take an 18 hour functioning time, it takes you to the 800 cow hour. Okay? There. Is, is it? Oh, yeah, it's working. Okay, uh, Nico Faber from uh, the Netherlands, FedVice. I'm, uh, I'm into a, a project uh, with DLFL, a very interesting uh, product, uh, Herd Navigator. So, my question is as nasty as obvious is this uh, Herd Navigator system working on, a, on an AMR? available for the AMR, but uh, of course we are planning on the, in the future to, to be able to upgrade the AMR with Herd Navigator. Okay, then I would like to uh, thank you all for your attention. Uh, I'm sure you want to continue the interviews and asking some questions, so all the speakers will be here. We have quite many other specialists, so don't be shy on their questions. I would like to um, stay and, and remain, make sure that this centerpiece remains for the journalists for those interviews. I would like to thank you again for your attention. And uh, there's only one supplier with the uh, full scope and really helping the uh, farmers all the way through, and not only through the milking and the automation. And that's still our, that's part of our message. So use the time for the interviews and thank you again for your attention.